I'm Doug with America's Best Restaurants. We travel the country coast to coast to find restaurants that you should dine at on a weekly basis. We are in Louisville, Kentucky. And we are at Dean Alley's. This place has been around for a long time. This is Gibbon, he's the owner. He hasn't been around for a real long time. He's not old like me, but he is the, the current owner. This place has a great story. So Gibbon, tell us, what is Dean Alley's? All right, so Denali's Diner, uh, it's been a family-run business for about 50 years. It used to be for 50 years, uh, for starting in 63, and then it shut down for a couple of years. The family stepped out. I used to own a, another old-school diner uh, here in Louisville called Twig and Leaf, and when I stepped out of there, like a lot of gentlemen that stopped coming here when it shut down started coming there, and they said that seeing what I had done with Twig, there's like, there's another diner, it's great, you should look into it. So I came here, I met Mr. Nally, Daryl Nally. We talked about it and four years later, here we are. So the Nally's has been in Old Louisville for, like I said, since 63, we've owned it for four years. Old school, original structure, American diner serving home cooked food all day long, breakfast, burgers, sandwiches. The only addition we did uh, was multi-ethnic specials. So we do like lunch and dinner specials. We do multi-ethnic, so we got Indian, we got a Russian dish, we got a Mediterranean dish. Um, so we do those. Uh, what are the significant reasons why I took over Diner? I finished my education from University of Louisville was I finished my high school in India. I was 17 when I moved here. I've been here for 13 years, the whole time here in Louisville. And I've made three trips back. Every time I go back, the whole country is different. So something that was major, major deciding factor for me to do this was nostalgia. So one of the major parts about diners, I have customers who come in daily basis. I have customers who come twice a day, weekly, monthly. And I've heard so many stories of how it used to be, how like it was just a small place and got expanded, how there's a basement to this restaurant where there were two full-fledged bathrooms that the truckers used to use, how like the buildings have changed around here. It used to be a furniture store here. So all this is one of the major reasons why I took over, like hearing all these people, like regulars hearing their stories. And so four years later, we're completing uh, four years on October 23rd. And it's been an amazing journey. And even through COVID and everything, like other than when we were mandated that no dining in, like we are one of the few restaurants in Louisville that never shut down, we stayed open. And one of the major reasons for that is our customer base, our regulars, and it varies from college kids all to a, like my oldest customer that I have, unfortunately he hurt his ankle, so he's been at home. He's 89, his name's Jerry, and he's been coming here since 63. And he comes in every day, six days a week we're open monday through saturday six days a week he's here yes exact it's called the jerry's omelet a lot of people know about it they'll ask about it too hey can i have a jerry's omelet so yeah that's really the story of denali's and i appreciate you guys coming here and giving us the opportunity because this place has been so long but somehow a lot of people still don't know about it which is weird to me too because even now on a weekly basis i have about 10 maybe 12 customers who are like either didn't know this place existed or they didn't know it was back open. And it's just weird because on our end, we do pretty much anything we can, like social media, we've been on a bunch of shows, but something like this will really make a huge difference. So we're counting on it and hopefully this helps us out. Thank you so much. Not a problem. Hey, every episode, we profile at least three items. Given's throwing us a bonus. We're gonna do four. I gotta pull up an extra finger. What are the four items we're gonna do? All right, so uh, four dishes that have been selling a lot. One is called the Colorado Scramble, similar to a Western omelet, but it's basically a three egg omelet, open face with uh, onions, green peppers, hams, with our tater tots. We call it the D taters with the side of toes. Second is called the Mighty D, which is our, our hamburgers. You guys, when you try, you'll understand, but they're phenomenal. So it's an open phase, two quarter pounders with bacon, homemade chili, cheese, lettuce, tomato, onion, and sour cream on top. Huge meal, a lot of people probably don't finish it. Um, the third thing we're gonna do as a traditional breakfast, the reason why it's huge is because of our home fries. We make our own home fries, freshly cut potatoes, seasoned to order. And last but not least is our multi-ethnic special chicken pasta. Again, one of those things that we make it fresh to the order. Almost everything in this diner right now is made fresh to the order. So these are four items, best sellers, and really gets the idea behind like Denali's out there to people that 
it doesn't matter what you want. We pretty much have everything. So <laughs> that's it. That's it. I'm hungry. I know you're hungry. You're watching this. It's a food show for heaven's sake. So why don't you come with us? Let's go check it out. All right, we're back. We're inside. All right, Gavin, you mentioned four items. We've got four. Let's start right here. What is this masterpiece? All right, so this one is called the Mighty D Burger. It's our hamburgers, like I mentioned before, too. It's one of the best in town. In fact, like, we've been asked by several people to put those burgers in the state fair. But here itself, we're so busy that state fair, is, is a, it's going to be a little hard one to do. But that's the Mighty D. It's two quarter pounders, open phase, with bacon, homemade chili, cheese, lettuce, onion, tomato, and sour cream. It's one of our biggest dishes, and a lot of people take it as a challenge, and they'll come in here. So we sell a lot of those, and people try to finish it. In my four years of being here, I think I've had eight people, or maybe nine people, who have been able to finish this whole thing. So that's the Mighty D. All right, got it, yeah, that's, that's a meal in itself. Item number two. All right, so like I said, we uh, one of the major things we wanted to play off was um, a restaurant that can provide everything, right? So while we're in an old school, original diner, one of the things that we wanted to do was provide multi-ethnic specials. So we do Italian, we do a Mediterranean shawarma, we do a Indian chicken curry and rice, vegetable pasta, chicken pasta. So this is a chicken pasta. So it's made to order, so when you order, and this one takes a little bit of time because we make it two orders. So all the months I think take a little longer than everything else we do. But it's a chicken pasta with our homemade seasoning noodles. And it comes with onion, green pepper, and mushroom. And a little bit of half and half just to add the flavor to it. Good deal. Uh, number three right in front of you. This looks like a good old breakfast staple. Well, it cannot, it cannot be a diner unless we provide a traditional breakfast, right? So this is two over easy eggs with our tater tots. We call it the D-tater with a side of bacon and toast. And so that's a traditional two egg. We call it the double D's and that's your double D's traditional breakfast. Yeah, but you can always tell by quality of tater. Top notch. All right, so while I chew, item four. All right, so this is called the Colorado Scramble. Um, a lot of people, if you travel as you travel, you'll, you'll see different forms of this. Some call it the Western Omelette, some call it the Denver Scramble. We call it the Colorado Scramble. It's three eggs with ham, onion, green pepper on top of our tater tots uh, with cheese and a side of toast. Again, it's one of our best sellers. A lot of people love this. So definitely had to put this on the show for the, to you guys today. All right, love it. These are the four items. The best thing for you to do is to come down here. They're in hard Louisville. Gotta make sure I say Louisville, right? People get mad when you don't say that, right? How else can people uh, find you? Well, we are all on social media. You can look at us, look us up on Facebook. We are on uh, Instagram, both under Denali's Diner. You can also look us up. We've got our own website. It's called Denali's.com. And for people who are traveling, because we get a lot of traveling people, so normally with the things, the way they have been changing technology and everything, you can also find us on Grubhub, DoorDash, and Uber Eats. So name it, we're pretty much on all platforms. Good deal, and they also have a full listing right here on americasbestrestaurants.com. So if you're in the Louisville area, then you need to visit. If you live in this area, you need to be here every day, every week, just like so many of the customers that we've even talked to behind the camera. So come check it out. I'm gonna eat another tot. This one's mine. I'm out. Thank you.